All right, guys, so I was previously fishing the Kitimat River, and I saw a lot of people mistreating the fish, and I figured, you know, what better way to deal with that issue than to make a video and just inform, misinform people. So uh, I'll get right into it here in a minute, but basically I'll just show you guys what I saw in the Kitimat River and some examples of what you shouldn't be doing, and then I'll, I'll get into some examples of how I land the fish and, uh, and how, you know, you should be holding the fish and treating them. So I'll just, you know, I'll go step by step of catching, uh, landing, you know, removing the hook, holding the fish, you know, how to ethically take a picture and, you know, just make sure that that fish successfully makes it to its spawning grounds. Um, so yeah, we'll get right into some clips here. All right, so you guys can see here in this brief clip that the, the man there fishing and reeling in this fish has just dragged the fish up on shore and that fish is now flopping around. It's, uh, it's not likely to survive. And uh, here you can see that the fish is still out of the water. Um, you know, they're just kind of messing around. And, uh, well, really that fish should be in the water right now. And they're, they're taking their sweet time on hooking it. And uh, they're just kind of leaving it there. They're going to take a few pictures. And then uh, they're going to spend a lot of time reviving it. And you really shouldn't have to do that. The fish should just swim off on its own right away. Um, and yeah, that's just, there's just horrible treatment of the fish and there's a very small chance that that fish is going to make it to the spawning grounds, uh, or just survive in general. So, all right. So here's another example of what not to do. Uh, these people have caught a Chinook, which is well over 80 centimeters and, uh, you know, obviously they can't keep it. So they're planning on releasing it and they just dragged it up on shore. It was flopping around for a bit. They took some pictures now they're going to release it and, you know, it's not swimming off right away like it should. And, uh, you know, it's obviously in rough shape and this salmon is likely not going to survive. When you guys see this kind of behavior, uh, I think it's important to go and approach these people and just don't start anything that uh, you shouldn't be starting, but just, you know, talk to them and inform them. If you guys are going to let them go, maybe keep them in the water, eh? Me? If you're going to let them go, maybe keep them in the water. And then they... Yeah, but it's not, it's not good for the fish though. Oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, okay. You guys gotta get that fish in the water. All right, so here you can see we've netted a nice hen chum. We're still gonna be keeping this fish fully submerged in the water. Even for taking the hook out, we're gonna keep it on the water or in the water. Some people will net it and then drag the fish up on shore. It's, it's no different. We just want to keep that fish's head underwater for as long as possible, if not the whole body. Now, for taking a picture with the fish, you're going to want to hold that fish in the water, then lift it up to take the picture. Um, you know, just keep that fish in the water for as long as possible, lift it up briefly, and then go to release it. And when I release my fish, I point them back upstream just to keep them oriented, and they should take a nice strong release. Now when I hold the fish, I put one hand on the tail and one hand under the belly. Don't grab it in the gills or anything like that. Another practice I like to take while I'm fishing is to just remind my friends to keep the fish in the water. I, I know the friends that I fish with will take good care of the fish, but that's also telling them that uh, you're planning on releasing the fish and it's just a good way to communicate and uh, just a good reflex in case you're fishing with someone that isn't your friend or you haven't fished it before. Just reminding them to keep that fish in the water is probably a good thing, good good way to go. Just keep her in the water. Alright. Let's just keep let's just keep her in the water. There are more things you can do if you want to protect the fish. Um, rubber nets are a great example. Uh, regular string nets can just scrape away the slime and the scales and damage the fish and. Um, you know, it's still better than dragging them up on shore, but rubber nets would be the best way to go if you're planning on releasing the fish. I used rubber nets in my, uh, my clips there. Uh, barbless hooks are another great one if you're planning on releasing the fish. I would go with barbless hooks, and uh, if you hook the fish in a weird place, and you know, you're holding it in the water, and you see it's bleeding a bit, and it's just not looking good, if you can, keep the fish, and then, you know, at least it's not going to waste. Um, yeah, making sure that fish revives well. So, you know, if you did have a long fight, if it's a Chinook and you're fighting on a light tackle or, you know, you're, I don't know, the fight just lasted longer than it should, 
Uh, just make sure you take the time to move that fish back and forth, get oxygen running through its gills, and make sure it takes a, takes a strong release. Um, yeah, I, I would just say, you know, if you see somebody doing something that, that shouldn't to the fish, just go talk to them. You know, just gently just mention, like, hey, maybe that fish should be in the water. Or, you know, if, if you bring it up like that and it's obviously damaged, like, hey, maybe you guys should keep that fish. Or, you know, just, just little bits of advice. Um, don't, don't start any conflicts, obviously. Uh, yeah, you know, even your friends, just keep them informed. If you see something your friend doesn't do, just say, like, hey, man, you know, keep that fish in the water. You know, take better care of the fish. It doesn't have to be, like, an aggressive argument, just a nice comment just to help protect the fish. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.